Hello there, welcome back. So in this video we're just going to continue with our web pages crud, okay? Uh, let's get straight to it. Now, so when we click this create button here, it goes to web pages forward slash create. Web pages forward slash create is going to be remarkably similar to store items create, okay? So if I just open up the web pages um, module here, the controller file, and look, we have a create thing here in store items. Very similar to just what we're going to need here. So I'm going to copy the create thing, I'm going to paste it in. But look out, because this create uses fetch data from DB and fetch data from post. So why not be cool and we'll copy fetch data from post and fetch data from DB as well, okay? So we'll copy them from store items and we'll take them across. Actually, I'll paste them down here, I think, okay? Uh, right, good. So we don't need this store items thing anymore. And let's now go through this fetch data from post thing, okay? Now, we're, we are dealing with the web pages table here. Uh, we've got ID, page URL, page title, blah, 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 blah. Page URL is going to be calculated by PHP. So let's start the ball rolling by replacing item title with page title, okay? And it all went a bit crazy there, but I think we managed to get away with that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, page keywords. So that'll be item price is going to page keywords. Whoa, it's taking me all over the place. Then we've got page description. So let me just go here and we'll go here and we'll say page description. That's good. Now I'm going to go with headline. So that'll be status. Thank you very much indeed. And we are... Now why did it not change everything? Come on, man. Let me just... Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, the last one is page content. So here we go. Page content. Is this working? Yeah, I think it is. Here we go. Yes, it has changed. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, thank you very much. Okay, you're very welcome. So you can see that I've changed all of the things. Now, this doesn't quite make sense, so let me just doubly check everything. Um, right, item URL is going to change to page URL. Okay. And page URL equals URL title, page title, that's actually 100% uh, correct. Um, yeah, everything's kind of coming together. So I'm going to fix this validation at the top here. We'll have page title required, max length of 255, or 250 actually. I always go a little bit under the uh, width of the column thing. It's for reasons that I don't want to go into, but uh, that's just the vibe. So width of 250 is cool. Uh, page title is going to be required. We'll make page headline and page content required as well. The other things are going to be optional, okay? So here we go. Page headline. And then we'll call this one page content. Let's give the page headline a max length of 255. Okay, sorry, 250. And that's us. So let's just go through this, uh, the create thing, and we'll make sure everything's cool, right? So we've got some security. We've got the update ID, right? You can see it's going to store items. Now that's not cool. So change that to web pages, right? Change all those store items references to web pages. Um, that looks good. Uh, that looks good. Yep. Yeah, okay. Now, do you see where it says the item details? I'm going to change that to the page details. Same up here. Page details. Right. That's good. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, insert a new page. Okay. And that would be the ID of the new page. The page was successfully created. That's the message that we like to have here. Um, that's good, yep, everything looks quite good there. Uh, we can take out this big pick thing, okay, and 
add new item is going to be changed to create new page. Now this is the headline, remember, on the create thing. Uh, update page details. And that all looks good. So I'm going to save that. And if we refresh this page, you'll see that the thing loads up, but it's trying to get a create file working, okay? Now we have a create file. You know what I'm going to say here. We have a create file and it's over in store items. So I'm going to copy this create file from store items and I'm going to create a new file in the web pages module. I'm going to call that create and then I'm going to paste in, okay? And I have an embarrassing apology coming up in a few minutes time. So hang tough and uh, you know, you can enjoy an embarrassing apology in just a minute, but let's go through this. Everything's going to be fine. Now at the top here, we've got some buttons. We do not need those, so we're going to take those out. Okay. Um, let's just refresh the page here. Okay, so it says create new page. We've got a thing there that says item details. I'll change that to say page details, right? Okay, so you can see that that bit on the top has changed. Uh, now it's just a case of we'll change store items to web pages. Now let me scroll down here. You see this thing with big pick, this if statement? We don't need that. That's from the store items stuff, right? So uh, it's all coming together. Now we obviously have errors on the form. We knew that that would happen, but stay cool. Everything's going to be just fine. We're going to go through each of these fields one by one and we're going to make sure that everything's cool, okay? So this one here, item title, we're going to change it to page title, okay? And if we refresh the page, see, the first field is cool. All right, so the next one we're going to do is page keywords, okay? Page keywords. And for this one, I'm going to borrow this section here that's got a nice text area in it because I want the keywords to be a text area, right? So let me make some space actually. And I'm just gonna paste in here and I'll call this, uh, I'll just write actual page keywords. Okay, here we go, keywords, right? So this is gonna be the meta keywords basically. Uh, I'll take this ID thing out. I'm gonna take this CL editor thing out as well. I just want a basic um, a basic text area here. So if we do that and refresh the screen, okay, you'll see I've got a nice basic text editor, nothing uh, too crazy there. I'm just going to say class equals span six and refresh. Okay, so do you see how that made it a little bit wider? So that's nice, thank you very much, I'm happy with that. Uh, so then we have page description. Page description is exactly the same story. Okay, so we'll say page description. Again, we'll use a text area, uh, something like that. Okay, and if we refresh this, looks pretty good. Um, then we've got headline and page content. Now headline is going to be another uh, form input thing here. What am I talking about? <laughs> a, a text a text field. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so that's going to be page headline, okay? So here we go. And headline. Okay. And the very last one is going to be, now by the way, what's this for text area 2 nonsense? I think we'll take that out. Okay, and refresh the page. Okay, everything still looks cool. Uh, page headline, yep, 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 yep. Now, is it called page headline or just heads? I'm sorry, it's just called headline. There we go. And the very last one is going to be the actual content, okay? So for this one, I would like that little what you see is what you get editor in. So I'm going to copy that. And I'll just say, 
uh, page content and we'll say name equals uh, did I call it content or page? Yeah, I called it page content. So here we go. Page content, we hit refresh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now I'm going to delete all of the stuff below this, those other fields that were giving us the trouble earlier on. So there we go. I'll tidy up a bit and refresh. Okay, so that's a nice... Um, page there. If we hit cancel it takes us back here, hit create new, takes us here. Not too bad. Here comes the apology. Uh, I would like to resize this thing and make it a bit bigger but here comes the embarrassing apology. I actually uh, cannot figure out how to do that. By the way, look at this. It's saying create new page here and here. That's a mistake. Do you see that? And it's because both variables are called pay. Uh, headline. So, let me just fix that. Let's change the table so that it says page headline, okay? Sorry about that. And that will give us... Uh, let me just see if we go in here where it says headline, page underscore headline, and on web pages, I'm going to just check for headline. Okay, so here it is here, that becomes page headline. Oh jeez, what on earth did I just do? Hang on. Okay, let me just check for any other instances of the word headline that we need to know about. Um, that's good, that's good. Okay, this section here for sure, that becomes page headline. And this becomes page headline. Okay, that's cool. Right, sorry about that. Had to change the table structure there. But here we are. It's cool. And as I was saying, I'm sorry that I, I couldn't figure out how to change the size of this. Now, if I spent 20 minutes on it, I could figure it out. But um, I had a look before I came on. I couldn't quite figure it out. If anyone out there... Uh, can figure out how to change the size of this thing, please let me know. Maybe leave a comment or something. But that's our basic vibe. Um, let's give it a try, okay? So I'm just going to say first try. Here are some keywords. Here is a description. And here is a page headline. Here is some content. Oh, uh, here is a new line. Okay, here we go. Submit. Okay, so you can see that we have an error to do with big pick, but the flash data is working. The form has repopulated and the table itself looks just fine. So that's not too bad actually. Um, if we go to web pages, it's saying line 96. So let's just check that. Oh yeah, and here we are. Here we are. Okay, so that's that should be cool. I'm just going to do a quick search for for pick actually. It's nothing there, so I think I think we're now good. I'm going to try this again. Okay, so I'll cancel, create new page, and I'm going to say second page. We'll just do this. Hit submit. Page was successfully created, excellent, and we've added that to the database. That's fantastic. So all we need to do is get this table displaying properly. Obviously, it's not happening just now, but I think we'll do that in the next video, okay? So I'll see you then.